So carbohydrate has had a lot of bad press in, in recent times. And I think that's partly because some of the nutrition messages that, w- that were sent to athletes during the, the 90s and, and the, the, the 2000s, uh, in that you know athletes were designed, particularly endurance athletes, should be encouraged to eat a high carbohydrate diet. And I guess where we've moved away from that messaging is that there's certain times where you want to accelerate or be more aggressive with your carbohydrate intake. On the flip of that, there's other times where you want to perhaps hold back on your carbohydrate intake as well. So if you look at a training week, you'll have some key performance sessions in that week. So they'll be like a, a threshold swim set or a hard sort of cycle, or it could be a run on the track where you've got repeat 1Ks. Their performance, they're after quality. You know, the coach is asking you to deliver quality performance in those sessions. Now, the research in my mind is pretty clear that if you want to produce your best quality performance, well, then you need to have carbohydrate available to you during that session. That means that before a performance session, you'd have a little carbohydrate going into the session. And if the session's long enough, you'd continue to have a small amount of carbohydrate as the session uh, is extended. So just be mindful that it's about periodizing your carbohydrate to match up with the quality of training session throughout the course of any one week.